Three leadership mistakes you must avoid at all costs to grow your career fast. Being in a leadership position can be both rewarding and challenging. With a team, you can contribute on a larger scale, make bigger impact, hone your human skills, and get paid more for your increased responsibility. However, you know firsthandedly how challenging it is to work with different people with different personalities and somehow be able to harness and direct their collected abilities and effort toward accomplishing a specific goal. In our other videos, we've provided many leadership hacks to increase teams' engagement, productivity, and ultimately, happiness and fulfillment at work. However, we still see many leaders struggle to get the cooperation they need from their teams and others to grow their influence and impact because they keep making these same mistakes over and over again. In this video, we want to pinpoint the three leadership mistakes you must avoid at all cost if you want to grow your team and career at a quicker pace. Are you ready? Let's get to the first one. Leadership mistake number one, failing to set clear and purposeful goals. Think of a ship leaving a harbor and think of it with a complete voyage mapped out and planned. The captain and crew know exactly where it's going and how long it'll take. It has a definite goal. Now, 9,999 times out of 10,000, it will get to where it started out to get. Let's take another ship, just like the first, only let's not put a crew on it or a captain at the helm. Let's give it no aiming point, no goal, no destination. We just start the engines and let it go. I think you'll agree with me that if it gets out of the harbor at all, it'll either sink or wind up on some deserted beach, a derelict. It can't go any place because it has no destination and no guidance, and it's the same with a human being. People with goals succeed because they know where they're going. It's that simple. From The Strangest Secret, How to Achieve Greater Success and Happiness by Earl Nightingale. So, do the people you lead know what a successful week, month, quarter, and year looks like? And do they have a mapped out plan of how to get there? The three biggest benefits of setting clear and purposeful goals are, they give your team purpose, excitement, and direction. They keep your team inspired and motivated. They help your team keeping track of progress and accountability. When setting goals with your team, make sure your goals are SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, Time-Bound. Extra brownie point if your goals are also worthy, noble, and inspiring. Leadership mistake number two, failing to communicate win-win. It is pointless to have clear and purposeful goals, but no one to help you get there. On your own, you can go fast, but you can't go far. At some point, you'll need the help and cooperation of others, such as employees, matrix partners, vendors, mentors, investors, etc. When communicating to ask for help or to persuade for a change in action, most make the mistake of only talking about what they want, especially when they have the higher rank. For a leader, relying on your rank and title to get what you want can only last you for so long. The best leaders know they need to find out what other people desire and speak in term of it to get what they want. So how does it really work? For example, when you go fishing, what kind of food do you use to bait? The one you like to consume or the one that fish like to consume? If you go with the former, your success rate with fishing will be low. Consequently, low success rate leads to many fears. Specifically, are the fear of failure and the fear of rejection. Those fears, if go unmanaged, will plummet your confidence and lower your willingness to try again. In contrast, if you figure out a way to communicate to people's self-interest, they will be more eager to work with you. Why? because you help them see that by helping you, they also help themselves. With this ability, you'll be able to catch big fish day in and day out. So always think win-win when you communicate. With others' help and cooperation, you will go a lot further than you could on your own. Leadership mistake number three, failing to control your emotion. Getting to a leadership position takes time. It might take many years of you honing your craft and building trust to get where you are today. However, it will only take one time of you failing to control your emotion to destroy all your years of hard work. 
Many inexperienced managers fall into the trap of needing to justify themselves when something they involve with goes wrong. When emotions run high, they're willing to go to the end of world to win their arguments and defend themselves. But when was the last time you felt like you really won an argument? Never? Because a man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still, said Dale Carnegie. Wise people will appear to give in to you, but their opinions of you are still the same. You've changed nothing and accomplished nothing by winning. So what is the best way to handle a situation when emotions run high? First, neutralize emotions with total acceptance. When something goes wrong, the only productive thing you can do is accepting it totally, or, in other words, taking complete responsibility. With this mindset, you'll naturally look for what you can do to minimize the damage and correct the situation. Second, once your emotion is under control, talk to the other side and show them your appreciation and understanding of them. Find anything positive about them to appreciate and share their frustration, inconvenience, pain, or struggle, even though you're going through the same thing yourself. Third, map out an action plan. Have a clear written document of what actions need to be taken next, in what period of time, and by whom. When you are in a leadership position, people are constantly watching to see how you handle difficult situations. Instead of getting caught up in your own emotion, you can use these opportunities to lead by example, grow yourself, and establish greater credibility and trust.